Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. This bathroom might look a little familiar to you. I did a light remodel on this. Tile, vanity, toilet, paint, light fixtures, doors, electrical, about four years ago. So I guess it was a little more than light. The only thing I didn't touch was the tub. The toilet's having a little issue, or it might not be having a little issue. There is a little ring around the base of the toilet that looks damp. It's only on the front half though, which could lead to someone with just bad aim. There is no wet marks behind the toilet, and that's where the drain actually is. And I'm gonna pull the toilet. I wanna say we're gonna check the wax ring, but I can't remember if I put a wax ring in this or if I put one of those plastic squishy rubber rings between the toilet and the toilet flange. So we'll find out together. I'm not sure how well this is gonna show up on camera, but right here and in is a wet grout. You can see it along here too, not so much there. Goes back to right here, but right back, right back there, right in line with this bolt cap, that's where the hole where the water goes is. And we don't have any signs of the grout getting wet back here. The first sign of grout getting wet is right there, which is six inches away. We go over to this side and we got not much going on except for this weird wet spot right here. Uh, what happened there? Is water traveling underneath and coming up? Not sure what, what happened. Or did someone just have some really bad aim and this grout along here got saturated and stained? I'm hoping that's it. I pull this off. My work looks great. The seal's fine. What do you think? What does this look like? Again, I can tell looking through the viewfinder that I don't think that's showing up, the difference. Oh, there you go, there's a little, you can see the, the dark line and the not so dark line of gray grout. There's another example right there. So I'm gonna shut the water off, give it a flush and hold down the handle that'll get all the water or most of the water out of the tank. And you see there's a little bit of water left inside the tank that shouldn't weigh too much or spill out. We still have water in the bowl and I'm going to use some secret magic potion to turn that water into gel so when I pull this off it doesn't slosh and spill everywhere. So this is the product right here. I'll leave a link down in the description. You can also get this at Home Depot, maybe Lowe's. It's going to take it and dump it right in. And in a minute or two, that will turn into gel. It doesn't take long. That's now a gel in there that's not gonna go out the drain or slosh around in here. toilet essentially is free and there's not much room to work with in here so I'm going to pick it up and back my way out like this and set it down on this piece of plastic and then we'll try to get underneath it and see what it, what it looks like. I also got this piece of foam uh, that I'll also set it on. just bad aim. That is definitely a ring of pee. I'm gonna get 
clean this up, bring it down close and show you how it's held up and what it looks like up close. If I can get around this toilet here. Clearly see what that is right there. This is all just dust, 100% dry. Now there's some of my shims to get this thing shimmed up so it didn't rock. This is the seal. Seal looked like it did good. Um, there's no, no water anywhere on the outside. Anywhere. Well. Okay, well, I'm going to just wipe this up. That's pretty nasty. <laughs> pretty nasty stuff. But I'm going to clean it up and then see if I can get that toilet installed back on here. Normally when I install toilets, I don't have the tank on and it's much easier for me to lower this thing right back down onto this stuff. You can see those ribs right there. That pushes up against the bottom of the, the toilet. I really don't know what's going to get that stain out, but let's squirt some of this stuff on there. And maybe I just wipe it up with a wet cloth first. I wonder how many people are going to leave comments. Why aren't you wearing gloves? Because it'll ruin the flavor of my sandwich I'm going to go eat after this. Man, that is a very distinct ring. So this is what that grout color is supposed to be. Kind of a light gray. And you get right to the edge of the toilet and boom. Run into the wall of, of yuck. Actually, it's coming clean. Huh. I wonder if bleach would get that out. Well, I cleaned it as good as I can. Not sure what would get that grout color to go back to light gray. Any of you professional cleaners out there have any ideas? Put them down in the comments. How do you get gray grout that's got lots of pee on it back to light gray? All right, next step is I got to get this toilet back on. And like I said earlier, it's extra heavy. It's got this huge extra wide base. And I normally always take the tank off. But we ain't got time for that. We're going to just try to get it on there. I'm going to get use my flashlight trick. Put this down next to it so I can see the bolts. And hopefully everything goes smoothly. Put your pants up first so you don't moon everybody. It's there's one there's two perfect actually much easier than I thought it would be So you're probably wondering, what about the gel? So the gel is still there. The toilet is now filling back up. Tank's coming up. And that'll get just diluted out. You can see it's already starting to break up. And separate. And it'll get flushed right down. I think it's gonna go down. <laughs> they say it may take a second because that gel goes more than just there. <laughs> Got a little scary. Started coming up. But it'll go down and I'll make sure it goes down. I missed it. I was trying to time it when it finally went down, but I didn't have the camera on. I know. Oh! <laughs> My toilets at home have the soft clothes. Not used to that. <laughs> Whoops. Get yourself some soft clothes toilet seats. So my cleaning job 
has done pretty well. I used some bleach along with whatever this stuff is I found under the counter and it's gotten a lot lighter. Almost wouldn't even notice unless you were the handyman checking out the base of people's toilets. So it might still be drying but this part here was really nasty and it looks pretty darn good. There's still a little bit there and there's still a little bit there. Probably hit that up with some bleach. Levels are leveled. No leaks. And time for me to go. Scoot it back a little bit. <laughs> That's a very common job that you would do in your own house. It's also a very common job if you're in the home improvement or home repair business. As I said earlier at the beginning of the video that it was just a little pee line, but some of it got a little further back than most people would miss by. <laughs> so I just wanted to pull the toilet and make sure that uh, I didn't have any problems. I don't know how long my warranty is. People ask you, how long do you warranty your, your work for? It really depends on what it is. If I'm installing something that a customer provided, very short warranty. This here would have been a workmanship issue if there was a failure at that gasket wax ring the rubber wax the wobble wax wing <laughs> oh, i need more sleep now just drink more coffee another question i'm going to get asked is what are you going to charge for this since it turned out not to be a workmanship issue but an aiming issue <laughs> obviously the customers aren't home i was filming in there you know i had a tripod set up in the tub what do you do to prove that it wasn't a workmanship issue and it was an aiming issue where well, you take a couple pictures and you send them to the lady of the house and then it's pretty clear that there was that nasty ring right around the front perimeter of the toilet how much do i charge it can go either way on jobs like this if you have customers that have been around and they call you and they refer you for years might not charge anything i really was only in there for 30 minutes i will probably just say this one's on the house please give me a call if anything comes up in the future and that's it so typically a removal and installation of a toilet is 275 dollars and i could be wrong because prices are going through the roof they're skyrocketing at a rate that I can't even keep up with, at a rate that I can't even believe. We'll be talking more about that on the business channel. The algorithm's really acting weird lately. Hit the subscribe button, maybe click the bell. It's supposed to do something, but maybe it doesn't. Get yourself a fancy cock gun hat and t-shirt. I can't go anywhere without people commenting on how cool my hat is or my shirt is. Goodbye.